they starting? They're just gonna start, aren't they? Looks like we're not dropping any more frames. Hopefully that's stopped. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have Blocky versus Blue's because they're starting immediately. Blocky opting to not play Pikachu. Uh, thought it was a Pikachu main now, but looks like we are... Looks like we are playing Peach Falco. I don't know why Peach would voluntarily come to this stage where Falco can just like top platform camp forever. Oh, uh, your mic's muted. There you go. <coughs> I made it. Um, so here we got Blue's Clues and Blocky. Um, obviously, Blue's Clues is a favorite. Um, just given the seating. Blockhead having a pretty sweet bracket. Um, taking out Tadio and Giffy Cat to get here. Um, wait, who did? Uh, Blockhead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he actually was... Uh, beneficiary of an upset by Giffy Cat on JF. Yeah, I saw that. So, so, so Giffy Cat beat JF 2 1, and then Blocky beat Giffy Cat. Yeah. And now he's in top eight? Yeah. So, he had to beat Tadio, though. Yeah. So, that's yeah, a pretty yeah, good yeah. W. Tadio took me out. Yeah, um, no, Tadio's really good. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Blue's Clues, different beast than Tadio. Uh, 15th in Texas, and he doesn't really lose to Falcos too much. Yeah, but he's making the comeback, though. Is he? Oh, yeah, I didn't even look. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he was down pretty good margin he was down a full stock i think and and now he's looking like he wants to uh be up a stock yeah falco exerts such control in this matchup um obviously the combo game is like pretty good from like zero to 50 zero to 40 but um after that it's just falco just exerts control but doesn't really combo um you could see just kept the pressure up the whole time yeah um, and no one's like Ooh. And that the interesting thing there, um, Blue's Clues was at like around zero, so he got hit with the dare, but he was able to get the down smash just because he was floating a little bit. Um, oh really? Yeah. So, so he hit the ground. He hit the ground and then um, was not hit like he wasn't in. He wasn't in tumble. Right? Wasn't in tumble and he was able to. It's like a crouch cancel thing. If you float just a little bit at zero when Falco dares you. Oh, and he misses that. That was kind of an alley oop. I thought. Um, yeah. Um, Definitely, um, the onus here is on uh, the Falco. Um, it's gonna be hard. He's got to keep up the pressure. While Peach really only needs one, one just strong opening. Yeah, I really like uh, Blocky's like use of the top platform. You know, he's, he's not hanging up there, but he's definitely using that as a mm -hmm. I'm in trouble, compromised position. Let's full hop to the top platform where it's difficult for for Peach to reach. <laughs> It literally takes her like two seconds to get there. It's like so long. Up throw, down smash. Yep. And then dash tag. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. See, that's, that's just it. rough. Yeah. Um, that was just a whole bunch of getting hit, but winning the exchange anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, that, and that's very typical of this match. That's just the Peach Classic at 0%. Um, yeah. Oh, Blue's Clues taking off the shirt. Hey, could y'all scoot to the right like five inches? Oh. Her face Perfect. 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 I've never seen Blue's Clues with his shirt off. Not with his shirt off. You know what I mean. Um. He's powering up. Oh yeah, this is him at eighty percent power. Yeah, he has powered up from fifty. Mhm. Mm but this Excellent. isn't even his final form. Yeah. Um, this is best of five, correct? Yeah. All right. This is this is loser's top eight. Um. So, uh, Pokemon Stadium, probably the best pick. Um, well, yep. Between yeah. this and Yoshi's, right? Yeah. And uh, I love Yoshi's against Falco way more than um this stage because if it's if Falco's really playing that zoning game um, this is the place to go yeah we were we were talking about um, this matchup earlier I don't remember who was playing uh, but yeah the stadiums the stadium and Yoshi's are like they're both good picks but like the difference is in Yoshi's mm. Falco can get hit just anyone on the stage and suddenly he's off stage you know and yeah, this Yoshi's is this is out. way more stage where you can get hit and you can, you can still stay on stage you know? exactly but um, it also comes down to the Falco's combo game. Like, if they're more confident in their um, combo game on them, like, Fal uh, Yoshi's might be a better pick. And then, of course, there's a shine kill, which yeah. actually changes the matchup a lot. Yeah, um, like, you can kill off the shine here, too, but you don't have that top platform to work with, you know? Yeah, it's way harder. Ooh, good tech. Ooh, I love Great edge guard by Blue's Clues. He's ready for him every time. Um, 
He didn't even cover that much, he just covered exactly what he did. <laughs> this is like, pretty good edge guard. Um, he's, and it, and this is the one, like, oh, his, his he's going is, a little slow. His little, knitting is so bad. A little Who's slow. You suck at knitting! Oh, we heard that. Oh, he was throwing the, you see that? The, he threw the yeah. turn up through the stage. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, oh, he, threw it, he threw it at the, at the tree and it bounced down and yeah. went through the stage. The tree makes things so weird. Yeah. Um, if you throw a turnip, or not a turnip specifically, but um, like an item like a bomb into the tree, it'll bounce back and forth so fast. Oh really? Just I've never done that. It's a special peach property. She has like a bounce property on all of yeah, her Yeah, I, I, I knew it would bounce because I've seen Ooh. people bounce bombs off the side of fountain. Interesting. But I've never seen something like it bounce between two. Uh, anyway, Blue's yeah. is up a lot. <laughs> yeah, um, Blue's is really taking over, yeah. He got... Oh, see, and then once he gets a grab, it's rough. Um, he's got an amazing punish game. Just like all Peaches, I mean, it's really... Peach lets you have an amazing punish game on spaces. Yeah. With just two reads, you can take a whole stock. Um, that should be... Oh! I thought he was dead! It was iffy. I, I definitely... It was super ambiguous, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, a back air probably would have covered everything. Yeah, I don't know. Because then it could drop. Chain grab, and then he's gonna take him place, up air. Oh, ASDI down in the up air, smart. Yeah, that was really good, but you gotta do the double stick and tech it though. Yeah. Mostly uh, used against Marth, but that's applicable, you can do that to anyone. Yeah, Peach's up air is like really weird. You can pretty much always DI into the ground at below like 50 or 40. Yeah, and if you're fast enough, like, you can do the double stick down tech and then just like drop through like Isaiah drop or, or shield drop uh -huh. if you're fast on that and back air her. Blues Clues giving himself a nod. <laughs> oh, himself oops. Up. I didn't update the score at all. Yeah, it is 2-0 uh, by the way. They did not strike to FD or uh, <laughs> stadium. <laughs> That'd be good. Uh, Whoopsie. The Melee Dream is Frozen Stadium. I'm just reading the chat a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. I definitely hate Pokemon Stadium transformations. I just... It's the Windmill and the Rock transformations. That alone... The Windmill's good. It's my I favorite. hate the Windmill. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. Sick combo. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was a great new grab. I love yeah. that. Up air grab is, like, the coolest thing. Nice. Blue's Clues is hitting him with all of it. Yeah, when I whenever I play Peach, I almost always just do more up airs. Oh, up air's so cool. I Sadly, do. it's like limited because it's pretty easy to just DI out and yeah. lose your follow-ups after a certain percent. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying I've never hit that down throw grab because it's or up throw or the up air grab because I always just do up air up air then rising up air fair. Oh, interesting. It's definitely sick on this stage. Oh, he double jump canceled then there. It's definitely sick on this stage because you up throw on the platform and when they go down if they tech in place or sometimes if they're just at the right percent you can just hit it straight up. Yeah. Ooh, and that jab just gets her out. That's a frame two jab. It's one of the best, one of the best jabs I think. It's so good. It's super Ooh, good. He's still just killing but it. But you can he also, uh, you can also just shield di it and gra shield grab it if you if they do both. The of them. jab. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely punishable, but at the same time, it's a pretty good mix up. No. Yeah. For sure. Just the fact that you have to respect it alone makes it good. Mm -hmm. And it's um, the first one I think is unpunished. Like it's safe. Yeah. The first one's somewhat right. safe. That was just clean. Um, that's what you're saying in the last um, the last match. Really, one hit and Fako's off stage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just <laughs> like if you if you like being edge guarded constantly.